What's up folks, I'm going to try uh, to show you something I created for our server. Um, this was originally thought up and first designed around Christmas time, hence the lollipops. But basically what we did was use the map editor to hide clues for this other secret place inside the map that would allow to unlock uh, a lot of loot. Basically you look around the map and I'll show some pictures of a couple of clues and you get something like that and it's usually a number equals either a one or a zero. You take what you see there and apply it to what you're about to see now. The lollipops were simply used to... Uh, that's the only thing we pretty much told the users was look for lollipops that way would indicate that they needed to pay attention to something so scattered around the map would be one lollipop and then that stuff written on the wall. And then eventually you'd stumble into this place, uh, which basically allows you to enter a code using these eight timers. Uh, once you enter the code, you click the last timer to test it to see if it's right. And if it's right, then you gain access to all that loot. And if it's wrong, it pretty much just kills you. Um, <coughs> it's two basic functions. Basically, all we're doing is opening doors, which right now with electricity basically all you can do is open doors and turn lights on and off. Uh, I'm not going to show the code in case someone wants to play. I'll link to our server somewhere. Not that I'm trying to get people to come onto the server. Uh, I'm also recording this at 5.11 in the morning. So I'm the only person on the server at the moment. Um, not trying to, like I said, advocate for people to come play. Just this is the only place it is if you want to see it live. Um, one thing I did notice about this is if you see these switches, you have some that are on and some that are off. I mean, I don't know how the world loads when people aren't around here, but I kept finding out that, you know, every time I stop by here to see if anybody had figured it out, these wouldn't be on or off, or they wouldn't be on. As in, like, they unloaded and didn't load back properly, so I added this switch, which runs for 30 minutes, which turns all of them on, makes sure they stay on. Uh, so once we'd entered the code, then we would be we would be allowed in. I'm going to show you the wrong code, just to show you what happens when the code is entered wrong. Uh, let's say we did that and that and that. And that. Or let's say we just turn them all on and left the last one off. It's clearly the wrong code. Once we test it. The doors behind us slam shut. These open up, and who's ever in here gets murdered pretty good. Uh, these will all reset after 30 seconds back to zero. And these doors, those doors there stay open, and those stay closed for 30 minutes so that you can't come back and get your stuff. Um, these would be the doors that would open if you got it right. I'm going to go in here flip that. That resets resets the punishment part. So you do the same thing if you got the code right and you click this. These doors would open for about 15 or 20 seconds and then they'd shut back with you in here and of course we have massive amounts of loots using the uh, custom loot spawn plugin. So these all respawn if they're emptied. Um, and then you'd use the switch here to get in and out. The 60 seconds was left, so because it's more than an inventory's worth of stuff, so if you filled your inventory up, you could run and throw some on the ground and, I don't know, figure out a way to get it all back, but that's on to you. Of course, inside this door where I just went, this is the punishment side. I'll need to explain some stuff on the other side first for that to make sense. This is the door to all the electrical stuff, which is horrible looking at the moment. This was originally just a proof of concept to see if we could make it work, and... I never went back and rewired it to make it look pretty, like some of the other folks do. This is a simple on and off switch for the garage doors in the front. I'm going to leave that off so they stay closed in case somebody does join and comes over here. They can't accidentally walk in while I'm showing you around. Um, this switch here is just a light switch cuts the lights on and off out there. This is the main switch. Here's all our power. 
there's a couple more up in the attic up there that run some other things but generally all the power collects into this combiner runs down and shows up into the switch uh, if you flip it off it turn on the other side of this wall is where all the the time uh, the timers are the code timers it turns all those off uh, so we'll turn them back on so they work um, after it leaves this contraption which I'll explain later it goes into the splitters which come over here and power each individual timer on the other side of the wall uh, these are basically like not gates they're opposite gates where they're constantly sending out power and that only sends out power when the switch is off so for instance let's say that switch number three in the combination needs to be off this is sending the power for it if you turn the switch on this OR gate which only works if one or the other has power won't work if both do so it's getting a constant stream of power if you were to flip number whatever we said three this would get power which cuts this one off which makes the code wrong um, these over here are what detect if the codes right there are eight switches outside there's one two three four five six seven eight inputs here if all the switches are right all these lights turn green send signals out to these end switches which just combine this one combines these two and this one combines these two if all of them are right then you get an output right here saying that the right combinations in that goes over to a splitter which just splits into one goes into this one which means if the code's right one turns green and when you hit the test button the other turns green outputs a signal saying the right code has been in it uh, that counter just counts how many times the right code's been put in as far as I know nobody's got this right or wrong yet nobody's tried it so those counts are just simply testing once once the right code comes out it goes into the list little thingy which I should tell you if the right code is entered you're allowed in to get your stuff and then the building shuts down for three hours meaning the the timer code on the other side will not work anymore so you can't just keep farming this place repeatedly once it's entered you gotta wait three hours before you can put it back in and in those three hours we can make changes if we want to change the code or just disable it and make it a one-time win we haven't really decided we're gonna wait till somebody gets it and decide but anyway if you were to put the right codes in and we ran a signal over to this thing which is what shuts it down for three hours you see there it's set for 10 800 that's that's all this that's how many seconds are in three hours it just cuts the power to the switches to the timers out there off so you can't re-enter the code but if we set it up to where as soon as you click the test to see if you have the right code if it's right it was turning this on for three hours which turned this off and would instantly close the door so this is just a delay <clears throat> if you enter the right thing it sends a signal through this timer for 60 seconds which makes the door stay open or allows them to work not stay open but it allows them to be opened uh, for 60 seconds which the individual door timer is either 15 or 20 like I said before but anyway it just delays the signal the signal comes in has to wait 60 seconds before it goes over here to trip out the uh, code timers tells them to stop working if we run back over here we can go look at the punishment side Uh, same with this counter, that's how many times the wrong code's been entered since I've cleared it, and it's still at 5, but doesn't matter. Uh, like right now, I know it's 5, and if I come over here tomorrow and see that it says 6 or 7, that means somebody tripped it and probably died in there. This one works just kind of the same way, but opposite. Uh, once you click the test, the test switch, it sends a signal over here, and if both of these turn green, like right now, one's getting power. And, or we'll explain what that one is, but if the test signal comes in and this one's also lit, then it does its thing, which is a timer that, you know, opens 
these two doors and closes those three for 30 minutes. Um, I guess I'll deal with that later. Um, if now if the right code is entered, it will disable this OR switch because the right code the right code entered also sends a signal over to this OR gate. So if either OR is done, it will not send out a signal, which means once you once it gets the power from the test timer, it won't have this input in and won't set off because it, the, the AND gate won't go off. Um, this is just a little reset. Like if you accidentally trip it and it lasts, like I said, 1800 seconds, which is 30 minutes. Uh, you can't turn off a timer once it's been activated unless you break it or break some of the wiring so I just simple reset switch uh, and yeah I think that's it I have no idea if this is super simple stuff that I think's pretty good or if it's cutting edge wiring rust technology I don't know I just thought it was a pretty neat idea seeing as I feel I love the electrical part that they've added. I just feel it's very, very limited right now because, like I said, all you can do is open doors and turn lights on. But this is something you can do with it. it it's basically a working code lock. It's one of those, just with eight different in and outs, ons and offs. You can give out to anyone and you can cut on and off. I don't know. It's not, it is what it is. I just thought I'd show it off. Uh, if I can answer any questions, if if this maybe some of this stuff triggers, you know, something you needed in your base, ask me. I'll see if I can explain it. Maybe if I have time, I can come find where you're playing and help you out. Uh, just let me know. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.